Hi everybody, I'm Caroline. Thanks for tuning in. It is time to show you my colorings for March. Now, I have a couple of pages uh, I finished that I won't show until probably next month because they are buddy colorings. So I want to wait until my buddies are done with their pages. But I'll show you the rest. So we'll start in Cute and Creepy. So I did this owl, this very adorable owl. I'm really happy with this page. It's quite a simple color palette, just green and yellow and some hazel eyes and an owl. What I used here was uh, watercolor pencils. It was the Brun Seal watercolor pencils on the owl and the feathers. And then I used a bit of polychromos over just on some some parts to add a little shadow or shade. And then for the background, I used ink tents. And I wanted to, to make this um, watercolor effect for the background. And there's no other glitter or anything like that. It's very simple. But I'm really happy with it. Next one, we got the Circle of Life. So I did this jellyfish page. I've had this in the works for a while. It's been a whip for a few months. Uh, I decided to finish it. So just all pastel colors, pink and blue and yellow and some light green. And what I used was mostly pencil here. Uh, I used Brute Fooner and the Macaron Pastel Pencils. I also used some gel pens, just a little bit here and there in the middle of the flowers. I don't know if you could see the glitter. There's a little bit of shine there. And then I used stickles on the jellyfish. There we go. And then just a lit light blue on the background. Very simple. Then we have Flower Mandalas. I did this one. Very cutesy, pink and purple. So here I used mostly Ohuhu alcohol markers. For the background here, the flowers. And I also did some gold right here and here. I used the Uniball Signal for that. So this was pretty quick coloring, just easy alcohol markers, sitting on a couch, having this in my lap, and just enjoying myself. Uh, it was fun, and um, I'm quite happy with the results. Next up, we got Birds in the Forest. This is my first page in this book. So that's always exciting. Um, it didn't really work out exactly the way I wanted it. I don't know. There's something that I don't like about it. I think it's my color choices for the bird, maybe. I don't know. You know, it's just a feeling. <laughs> I'm sure you know the feeling. Um, but what I used here was Neocolors 2 in the background here. 
And then a lot of alcohol markers. And then I did some Pentel Dual Metallic on her necklace. Right there. And that is everything I used. So, it's okay. But... <laughs> That's all the finished colorings that I have, except for the other two pages that I'll show later on. But I'll also show you a couple of whips that I've been working on this month. So I started with this one. So far I'm really happy with the way this turns out. It's starting well. I hope that I won't be making any mistakes and ruin the whole page. Um, but yeah, hopefully it will turn out okay. Probably lots of light colors here. I don't, I'm not sure, maybe some purples or yellows. We'll see. But that is a whip I have in Worlds of Wonder. And then I have another whip that I was planning on finishing, but I just was not feeling this. I It started out really well because I started with the rainbow colored leaves on the tree. And then I think I messed it up with the dark circle and the dark lanterns. It didn't feel like it looked well together with the pastel colors. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to finish this one. We'll see. But I've used some pencil. I think it was Brute Furner on the leaves here. And a lot of gel pens. So quite a bit of sparkle here. Which looks quite nice. But it's a combination overall here that I'm just not feeling. So we'll see. And that was the pages for this month. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!